Okay, so we just got back from the networking meetings, had two different meetings this morning, uh, did a couple of one-on-ones as well, so it's really good. I'm starting to build some key uh, relationships here, some key network opportunities here in the area, so uh, it's going really well, and it's something that just kind of, I feel like, continues to grow the more and more we plug in, the more and more I get in tune with the community and build those relationships, it just gets better and better. Let me know, I think I may make a video on networking, on building relationships, maybe it'll be valuable. Uh, let me know, put it in the comments below if you'd like to learn more about how I network and how I build relationships in my community uh, for businesses. So let me know if you want to learn more about that. We're about to go literally across the street right now um, to this like furniture store. They're having this huge sale, uh, clearance items. We got a personal invite from the lady we built the relationship with there. And we're going to check it out because we got to furnish this practice. You did it. Look at the camera. <laughs> All right, so one cool thing that the town of Woodstock did, we set up a lot of businesses, set up these little scarecrows here, painted all throughout the downtown area. So we had our set up here, uh, right in front of the cool uh, chamber building. And um, yeah, it was a lot of fun, really cool. Raised a lot of money to do beautification projects here for the downtown area. Uh, and now we gotta pick it up. Sad, but fun. In three, two. <clears throat> all right, so we're just leaving the practice right now. Lots of awesome updates to share with you guys. Stay tuned, but we're heading back to the house to pick up the remaining of the flooring. So it's all about to get laid down. Most of it is laid down now. They're gonna go get the rest of it to finish it up. So I'm gonna go back, help them load it all up in our trucks. Then we're gonna head back here. Also, we have tons of other boxes that you've probably seen laying around. We're gonna start taking some stuff over, slowly entering our house and moving all of that over to the practice. Things are moving forward. Okay, so I don't know if I showed you guys the wood yet. I think I did, but this is what it looks like here. These are the panels. So it looks super nice. And like I said, I haven't seen the flooring yet. I'm excited to go see it in the practice. We're going to load up the remaining pallets here. Remember we had six pallets over like 6,000 pounds of wood here that we really had to truck up this hill and bring in here. And now we're going to lift it, unload as much as we can in the truck and take the rest over to the practice. For those of you who have been around the channel for a while, you've seen the evolution of the cars I've driven, right? So in the beginning, when we first started school, we had that black Honda Civic hatchback. I think it was a 2019 version. And then we evolved to the, no pun intended, to the uh, Toyota Corolla, right? So we got that silver car. And we had that literally all the way up until this year. And then we just recently got this new truck, which is a Tacoma. And now it's coming in handy because I don't know what we would do if we didn't have it. So when most people are gonna get pick up something heavy or even just pick up something in general, what do they do? They reach down around their back, keep their legs straight usually and just bend with the back. That's terrible for your low back. It's gonna end up causing damage over time or even acutely. So one thing that you'll wanna do and something that if you're a chiropractor watching this, you're gonna be teaching your patients on this again and again and again, is how to bend properly. And you do it by hip hinging. So you're bending at the hips while keeping the spine in a neutral stance and loading your posterior chain, hamstrings and glutes while keeping a strong core. Something so simple, but can save so many people so much aches and pains if they just do this one move correctly. They do it, right? You bend with the hips, move the butt back while keeping a straight spine and then bend down, boom. Just like that. And then, lift. All right, so we got all the flooring in the truck. Now we are heading back to the practice. Um, the guys still should be there. It is like, quarter after five right now. Um, usually, I mean, they've been working around the clock. I mean, they've been working like late and they've been working seven days a week late. I'm super proud of the guys for, for putting in the work and they're just trying to get this thing done on time with all the setbacks and everything, which so grateful for. So we're gonna go unload all of this and then give you guys a little practice update. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm pretty sure we're covered in sweat. Am I sweaty? Maybe. 
Uh, we just unloaded all of the flooring into the practices you saw. You can see the progress already. You can see the progress with it already. There's so much flooring already down, which is really great. And it's coming together beautifully. I think the flooring looks absolutely amazing. So right now you kind of saw a lot of moving pieces, a lot of moving parts. We've got a lot more staff in there just working to get this timeline fulfilled. They're doing the rest of the flooring you saw there. They're adding the rest of the ceiling as well as just finishing up a lot of side projects. There's like about six or seven different projects kind of going on at the same time. Um, just coordinating it all and just making sure we get everything done. So far we're on schedule and we're just trying to get a little bit ahead so that way we can get this thing finished and get ready to opening.